what is up guys and welcome to yet another video now today's video has a request from one of you guys which is going to be about speed ramping now before jumping into the video first i'd like to mention that my switzerland video which is long overdue is coming out soon i've been working really hard to bring it to you guys making sure that everything's right and perfect also i'm going to be uploading a couple or a few uh vlog style format videos as well let me know which kind of videos you guys prefer in the comment section below. Now, without further ado, let's get to today's video. So we're here in Premiere once again. We've got our two clips over here of this bird flying off the girl's hand. And we've got these bubbles flying out and we're gonna transition between them using speed ramping. So the most easiest, uh, sorry, the easiest way to do this is you can simply command R or right click and go to speed duration and adjust the speed based on the percentage or the duration that you want and hit OK. We're not going to do that. We're going to do this method instead. You can simply right click on the clip, go to show clip keyframes, time remapping and hit speed. Now you're going to realize nothing happened. Well, that's because you need to expand your video layer and now you can see that we can add keyframes to our clip. So we're going to select the point where we want to add the keyframe or where we want the speed ha uh, speed to start changing. And we're going to set it about over here. We're going to add our keyframe and we can simply bring your cursor here and we're going to see the icon changes. Well, you can drag it up to speed it and drag it down to slow it down. So we're going to drag it up and you can see it updates in real time. So we're gonna speed it up a little more. Now you're gonna realize that it's still abrupt, so it just suddenly goes here and then suddenly speeds up. Well, what you can do is click on this over here until this icon comes up and then you can drag it. Oops, drag it. And that kind of makes it more gradual, but you can still see it's sharp. So what you want to do to make it more smooth is simply click on this. You'll see this pop up and you can drag it to make a smoother curve. So it's a much smoother transition. So it starts off normal speed and then gradually speeds up. So this is what it looks. So it's like slow and then suddenly speeds up gradually. So we're going to fix this out a little bit. Now we're going to come in here to our next clip. We're, I've already done the same so you're gonna have this kind of cool curve over here and once you play it back this is what it looks like bam it kind of looks like the the bird transitioned into these uh, bubbles over here now this is a more common method that everybody does but there is an easier method not an easier method a uh, different method which I personally prefer because you don't need to expand the video layer because when you have a huge project, a lot of clips and stuff, I hate expanding the video layer up and down, up and down. So I simply just go to the effect control panel and then go down to time remapping and speed. This might be off, you just simply click it, it expands it, and you basically do the exact same thing, but it's over here in the panel, which I find more convenient for me. So it's, it's pretty much personal preference. So I want the clip to start speeding up from over here I set my keyframe, once again I pull it up and I can see the same exact controls. I click this, I bring it here to smoothen it out and I can smoothen it out further. I've got a smooth curve. So it's pretty much the exact same thing but you can do it in the effect control panel or down here. It's a matter of personal preference and you can really get creative with this, add it to add it with effects or add sound effects to it you know it's a really basic technique that you should know to really improve your videos thank you guys for watching hope you learned something if you did give this video a thumbs up it helps a lot also if you have any tutorial requests like this one you can leave it down in the comment section below and if you want to catch future uploads you can press the subscribe button below as well once again thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time Later.